a full house to hear the Super League's wealthiest owner promise to settle a few scores. Salford Red Devils boss Marwan Kukash began with the Kiwi superstar he signed last year, Kevin Locke, who this week resigned from the club, claiming he was still owed £52,000 in wages. You have 24 hours to send a chartered accountant to check the payments and Kevin, if I owe you a penny mate, I will personally drive to the bank, get the cash, bring it to you and say sorry for their convenience. Salford Red Devils owner Marwan Kukash certainly aimed to settle a few scores here today, principally with Kevin Locke, who claims the club owes him £52,000, a claim Marwan Kukash vehemently denies. Listen, there's been a lot, an awful lot of negative stories out there uh, about the club, about me, about paying the players, you know, non payments of players. And like I said before, uh, every story has two sides, and it was very, very important that I put my side out. You know, there's, whether it's deliberate or not, but th there has been quite a lot of lies out there. And I just wanted uh, to assure uh, or assure our fans, players, and you know, new players that we intend to sign, that since I arrived, that players have always been bed in full, if not on time. And I admit sometimes they haven't been bed on time because they were bed early, but never late. I also spoke to Marwan about the signing of Tim Sheens, the Australian national coach who will join Salford as director of rugby. Today I've uh, announced uh, the recruitment of uh, Tim Sheens, the you know one of the biggest uh, names in rugby league coaching, uh, to join uh, me as the director of rugby. And between him and the head coach, yes, then uh, I'm sure they'll have a shopping list to go through the names that um, will be suitable for us. Alec Heron, that's Manchester.